Hello, I'm Richard Nongard, and you are watching the Baki Graduate University YouTube channel. Sometimes people ask me, is there a biblical mandate to schools, churches, and ministries to participate in online social media? Now, of course, there's no verse that says, quote, get on the internet and create a page for the Baki Graduate University community, end quote. But we do find the Great Commission, which tells us to make disciples of all nations, and the internet now gives us a chance to do this. The BGE webpage has been visited by participants from almost every part of the world. The BGU social media pages may share some lighthearted humor, but it also shares inspirational stories of God's work. It might share a joke or a puzzle, but it also shares thought-provoking scriptures and personal stories from graduates. BGU graduates have shared photos, personal insights, and prayer requests, both on the fan pages and in the group page. These interactions communicate the values of BGU and the world hears this message. I actually prepared this video over the Easter weekend, just two weeks into a serious effort to create an active Facebook page for BGU. Over 5,000 people read the posts and viewed the pictures that shared the story of Good Friday, Christ's death and resurrection on Easter Sunday morning. Before this effort, less than 50 people a day were viewing the BGU social media page. This effort is one way to share the gospel in each and every nation. According to the Facebook Analytics and Statistics page, our 425 current fans are directly connected to 255,000 people worldwide. Many of these connections certainly are with other Christians, but many are not. Thousands of them have now seen and read about the sacrifice of Christ through the miracle of Easter. The God of the Bible has revealed his message in almost every possible way. The scriptures record his use of a pillar to lead his people, a cloud becoming a map for the Israelites. In the Bible, we have a burning bush, a, tonky, a talking donkey, and angels that appear with God's message. We see his message in the stars, in the majesty of the earth, and in the stories of the Bible. God has used virtually every media possible for his message. And one can assume that the internet and social media is one more way that God can speak to his people. Ray Bakke opened his book, A Theology as Big as the City, with a chapter called A Journey into the City. His book was a call to enter the city with a message of Christ. Interestingly, urban communities are the most connected communities to the Internet, with greater and more affordable access than in rural areas. The reality is that urban youth, in particular, are connected to the Internet. According to Ericsson, a global provider of telecommunication devices, urban and metro areas generate 60% of all Internet traffic, even though they're only home to 30% of the population. 40% of city dwellers own an iPhone or an Android device. This is true for Moscow to New York, Cairo, London, Johannesburg, Mumbai, Hong Kong, and every city in between. 50% of city dwellers connect daily to the internet with a smartphone, and most of those people to social media networks. To reach the city, a ministry must be connected to the people. This connection is now in the palm of their hands. Even in poor areas, we see widespread availability of digital resources with over 40% of those living in the USA below the poverty threshold having broadband internet access in the home. Social media is a modern town hall for the urban resident, providing access to resources and as a catalyst for change. Cities and even countries have been transformed because of social media with the recent Arab Spring being called the Twitter revolution because of the power in social media for activism, organization, and action in the urban environment. In the Philippines, 86 million cell phones are currently being used in a country whose population is only 94 million. 30% of that population lives in poverty. Virtually all these phones have the capacity to connect to the internet. And social media is the most popular use for cell phone connectivity to the internet. In a shocking statistic from AGB Nielsen, 67% of digital consumers in the Philippines use social media compared to only 40% using email, showing the importance of sites like Facebook, Twitter, and regional social media as a primary means of communication. Over 52% of Filipinos have high-speed internet access in the home. To journey to the city now means reaching into the cities with social media. 
not just in the USA, but worldwide. The purpose of the BGU social media page is not just to collect likes, but to serve the community by telling people in every corner of the earth about the good news of Christ. His purpose is to tell others of the work God is doing through BGU graduates, and his purpose is to show a broader audience than any other network can reach the resources, training, and education available through BGU. It's our hope, though, that the model of social media we're creating can become not just a tool that BGU finds valuable, but one that you can actually model and use to share the good news of Christ through your social networks. Our hope is that by demonstrating the power of social media as a resource for ministry, that you'll be empowered to build communities, plant churches, transform local communities, and connect people, cultures, and communities in Christ's service.